Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. Today I've got a planner type of video for you. It's kind of, it's a planner supply type of video. I have been asked many, many, many times since I started a blog in 2011, what is washi tape and what is the purpose of washi tape? And I will be honest with you, I do not know exactly what it was and what it was used for and where you can purchase it until probably about two or three years ago. So back in 2012, I bought my first set of washi. I want to say it was from Pick Your Plum. I had no idea what I was going to do with it. I didn't really know what it was for, but I saw it on there and it was a good deal. And I don't even think it was that beautiful of um, washi tape, but I was just excited to have it because I had seen about it all over the internet. So today I am going to share the ways that I use washi tape. I do have a nice collection of washi tape. Now, I'll be honest, it's not the biggest collection of washi tape because I have seen some people that have like a gigantic dresser full of washi. And I have gone through mine several times and um, de-stashed, given some to my daughter, sold some, and just given some away that I just was not using and did not need anymore. So, uh, before I get to the ways that I use washi tape, I want to show you how I have mine stored. Now, I've stored mine in several different ways, and I've shared different ways on my channel and on my blog, but right now, I have mine stored in this little organizer right here. This was purchased and I'm very upset. I do not know if this was caused by, by one of my kids or how this happened, but it's got a little crack right here. Like I noticed last week that there's a little piece of the plastic that's gone, which doesn't affect the purpose of the organizer, but I just know it's there. So it kind of bothers me. So I try not to think about it. But this little organizer came from Amazon and I've been told that you can purchase it through, I want to say like Home Goods or TJ Maxx or Marshalls if you can find it. Now it's got three drawers and here's what makes this little system different than everybody else's that you might see on the internet or when you were shopping here or there. This not only has three drawers, but it also has three sections in each drawer. So let me show you. I'm going to show you each tray. So this is what a tray looks like. When you pull it out, it not only has enough space for three rows of washi, they are sectioned off, let me show you, by these little plastic dividers. So it's actually a sunglass case. And I want to say I paid about $17 or $18 for mine. But you guys, it fits your washi perfectly. And I will tell you when I'm organizing washi tape, if you cannot tell yet, I like to color code mine. So that's why you might see me on social media organizing washi tape many different times. And I've been asked, why do you need to organize it that many times? And it's because when I get new rolls and it might not fit in a drawer where it's supposed to go with the color, it requires me to reorganize. So this is the second drawer. And this is what I have done recently. Oops. I've gone through and kind of taken out washi tape that I did not like and was not using because I I had filled up this entire organizer at one point, and I'm like, I'm not using all of that washi tape. Why do I even have it in there? So I made sure to leave some space in this organizer for washi that I might purchase. So I can put the new ones in those parts or shift around in the organizer. And then the bottom one holds all of my blacks and purples and blues. And it just makes it easier for me. I like to color code things. So this makes it easier for me when I'm doing a planner spread, let's say, and I need a red. Okay, I need a red washi. So I'm go, okay, let me go to the red section in my organizer, can pull it straight out. And I know these are all of the colors that are in the red um, family. So I don't have to go through all three drawers with nine different sections to figure out what washi tape I need to use for that layout. So this has been the best little investment that I have made and you will probably see it. I plan on, I want to say it's in 
is it June or July when I'm doing my favorite Amazon purchases you will see this again on that video so I highly recommend this to anybody that's needing to reorganize or to keep their or basically just to keep your washi tape organized I love this little organizer so I've shown you how I have my washi tape organized. Now I'm going to get to the ways that I use it. Now the first two ways, and I have six ways that I'm going to share with you today. The first two involve my planner. I use washi tape in two different ways in my planner. One, it is used as a decorative element, and two, it is used as a functional type of element. So I'm going to go through here and show you the decorative first. If you've watched any of my plan with me's, you probably already know this, but usually I use washi at the very top and you can tell if you were to grab the top of my planner, it's very thick because in this section on every planner spread, I decorate using washi tape. So let me zoom in a little bit too. Okay, that's better. So I'm just gonna kind of flip through and show you how I've used it at the top of my pages. And sometimes I will layer it. I like the layered effect of washi tape. Sometimes if washi type of stickers come, there's three here that I've used. Sometimes if a sticker kit comes with the washi stickers and I think it looks good, I won't use additional washi tape. I'll just use those stickers. There's two here, three here. I just, I like the top to be, I didn't do it this week. I like the top unless I've got too much going on to be decorated. There's the top. Sometimes I layer stickers on my washi tape. Sometimes I don't. It just all depends. So that is one way that I use it as a decorative element in my planner. So now let's go to the functional part. To use it as a functional part, I'm going to go to July when I'm going to be on vacation. I will use it to block off dates. So here I have used this scotch polka dotted pink washi tape to mark off when I am going on vacation. So that is the functional way that I use washi tape. So I will use it to mark off events. And let me go to next week, which, or actually this week, I've used it to mark off the days here that I will be at a cheer competition with my daughter. I've used it to mark off track meets here for my husband. Um, what else? Let me see. I'm trying to give y'all as many ways as possible. Here was a cheer competition. Well, that's the same one that's in the weekly. So now you see the monthly way that I use functional here. The same event when I get to my weekly is marked like this because I have a horizontal planner. Now, if I had a vertical, I would be doing that differently. So that is how I use it functionally. I will use it to mark off dates for different events, cheer, vacation, anything that deals with my husband, anything that basically happens in a row more than one day. The third way that I use washi tape involves a clothespin. And let me show you one that's completely done. This is my daughter's that we did for her. Let me give you a little up close look of it. This is a basically little clip that we are using on her little magnetic board by her desk. We have, put, we have hot glued a magnet on the back. And this is basically just used to hold papers on, let's say, a refrigerator or some kind of magnetic board. So what we did with this was we just took a strip of washi tape. So I've got one here that I am going to make and let her use it after I'm finished. So let's get a, you know what, let's use this little floral right here. So this is from my Planner Society. So all we did was we took a little strip of washi tape and we cut it. Try to make sure to measure correctly. So I just need this much. And the great thing about washi tape, if you did not know this, is it's repositionable. So you can reposition a piece of washi tape if you put it down and it's not exactly where you wanted it or lined up correctly. So what we are going to do is, and I like to make sure that the washi tape I'm using can wrap around the side of my clothespin. We're just gonna stick it on the top and make sure it's kind of even. That's my biggest thing. Lord, I can't even draw a straight line to be honest without some kind of ruler. 
sure that we squeeze all of the bubbles out. So I made sure that I had enough on the left and the right. I'm going to trim the end to wrap around the side of the clip like so. And you can, like right here where the little metal piece is, I think we did this on hers. We just kind of clipped it so it could squeeze around the metal piece. Yes, so like so. And if it doesn't stick perfectly, you can always go get you a little dab of super glue or hot glue and then wrap it around the edge like so. So this is all we do. Y'all, I use this. I've shared this in my Christmas video of how I store my Christmas cards and display them, but it just makes a clothespin look even cuter. You can use this for your, um, we actually use it for clothes. So we just like to use these to put on our refrigerator or our magnetic boards. We just put a magnet on the back, and then if we have any type of embellishments, we just put those on the top. And it serves the same purpose as running out to Walmart and purchasing a cute little set of magnets for your refrigerator or for your magnetic board. The fourth way that I use washi tape involves an envelope. And I use the washi tape in two different ways on envelopes. I will use it as a functional element and as a decorative element, usually not at the same time. So let's say that my daughter has to take Friday refreshment money. Once a month, they do Friday refreshments at her school. So she has to take $2 to use for Friday refreshments. And then like anything that we turn in, she's in second grade, to be put in an envelope. And then we have to put her teacher's name and her name and the date and how much money is in the envelope. And then we have to seal it. And usually what I do, just, just to be, just to add a little cute aspect to the envelope is when I put her money in there, I will just take some washi tape and I will seal the envelope using the washi tape. And that's it. So I just like to seal envelopes with that. And y'all, I know that it's the glue on envelopes. I don't like to lick the envelope. So that's why usually if I mail something, I will use tape or I will use washi tape because I would prefer to do that than lick the envelope. So that, I use it as a functional aspect. And then the decorative aspect here. Usually, like this past year when we sent out Christmas cards, I will take some decorative washi tape. I'm going to go ahead and use these donuts. And just in case you're wondering, this donut was sent to me by one of my viewers. And it is the Scotch brand. And I want to say she got it at Target. I absolutely love it. I love donuts, even though I can't eat them anymore. So what I did was I would put all the information on the front, who the Christmas card went to, and then at the very bottom, I would just take some washi tape and I would just make it really at the bottom and I would fold it. So it was a cute little envelope for them to receive at Christmas time. So our family Christmas card would go in here and I would fill everything out and then I would add the washi tape at the bottom for a decorative element. I just think it adds something to your envelope. The fifth way that I use washi tape involves this bottle right here. And I love that I chose a bottle that I could not get the sticker completely off. So I have saved this bottle from some medication that I was using that I'm out of now. And I'm going to use this to carry in my purse as a little extra container of like ibuprofen. Because I don't want to carry the entire bottle. I just need a few. So this makes it easier to carry around because it's not as big. So what I'm going to do is take the lid off. And I am going to take my washi tape, and this is the Scotch washi tape. You know, I didn't really plan the washi tape thing. I just kind of grabbed some, whatever was in here, and I've just so happened to grab like three rolls of Scotch washi tape. So that should, share, that should tell y'all that it's some of my favorite. So I'm just going to, so this was sent to me with the donuts. So what I'm going to do is just take this, line it up at the top, under where the lid goes and I am just going to wrap the washi 
All right, I have that finished. Okay, then you can either clip the washi with your scissors or you can just tear it. I'm just gonna tear it. Okay, and then just make sure it's all on there. And that is what it looks like. I probably should have chose something that was like polka dots or something. It wasn't such a design on it. But you could go as far as to actually label the bottle as well. If you have several of these floating around in your purse, you might want to take a label and put the medication on the bottle so you're not taking the wrong thing at the wrong time. So let me put the lid on it. And this is what it looks like completely decorated. So this would even be good for bobby pins. You could keep bobby pins inside of this, Q-tips, toothpicks, anything like that would work. So you could have a, several of these floating around in your purse. But I just think that looks a lot cuter than the plain little orange type of medication bottle. Okay, the last way I am going to share is using this paper clip here. And it's to make a page flag on your paper clip. So what you can do is take your washi, and I'm using a thin washi since I do not have a wide paper clip. I'm going to make a flag on the top. So I'm just going to take a piece of washi, and I'm actually going to cut it this time so it's even. I'm going to thread it through the paper clip. I'm going to try to make it as even as possible. Oop. I'm going to try to make it as even as possible. So I threaded it through. I'm going to make sure it's kind of even at the top. So we've got it lined up. So I'm just going to take my Cutter B scissors and I am going to do this right here to make it look like a flag. So now you can have it and you can put it on, I'm just gonna place it on this envelope like so. And you have a cute little page flag that can stick up from the top of your pages. And you guys, that is how I use washi tape for my personal use. I would love it if in the comments below, if you would share with us some ways that you might use washi tape that I did not cover today. You would not only be helping me, but everybody else that watched the video and read the comments. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope y'all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.